You guys have wondered why I don't like the more Monster Jam tour. Aside from the fact that all the competitions are just boring. Okay, take a look at this. Now we're going to go through a list here of all the uh, competitors for the 2017 More Monster Jam Tour. And we're going to see if there are any non-filled trucks. Are you ready, kids? Then let's go! Okay, so first off we have Gravedigger, which is felled. El Toro Loco, another felled truck. I believe Pirate's Curse is felled. Yes, it is. It's owned by Feld. Alien Invasion, Feld. Zombie Hunter, Feld. Monster Mutt Rottweiler, Feld, which is a terrible truck, by the way. Uh, Blue Thunder, much better truck, but it's still Feld. And Megalodon, or Megalodon, however you pronounce it, is Feld. So that's the uh, Central Tour. Coming down here, we have another Gravedigger, Feld. Maximum Destruction, Feld. Feld, Scooby-Doo, Feld, 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 and Feld. That's the uh, Eastern Tour. Last but not least, the West Tour. Feld, 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 and Feld. So you can see, we have three, three, <coughs> excuse me, three tours that are nothing but fell trucks. And I can already tell, I can already tell all the little six-year-olds who shouldn't even be on YouTube anyway since the minimum age is 13. Now seriously, if, if there's one positive fell has done in the recent months, it's identifying all the uh, youngsters that shouldn't be on YouTube. Um, anyway, but that's, that's besides the point. Uh, but anyway, I, I, I can totally see all of the little six and seven year olds. Stop hating on the field tracks! The field tracks are awesome, you know! They're the popular ones! It's basically Grave Digger! <laughs> there is no need to have three tours. That comprise of nothing but fell trucks. <coughs> There's no need for that. <coughs> but the thing is, with these tours, we've seen so many of these of pictures on social media that Monster Jam just blasters all over. They emphasize the fell trucks far more than the independents. Like, that's no secret. Why do you think 90% of the trucks that get invited to the world finals are owned by Feld? Because Feld favors their own property over others. You see how that's a problem? That's a major problem. Now, I'm not <coughs> hating on any of the fell trucks, but <coughs> it's a problem when you have three tours that are 100% felled owned trucks. It's like you see these trucks so often on places like their YouTube channels, and their social media, etc. It gets boring after a while. Especially Gravedigger, okay? Now, Gravedigger used to be, okay, like as a kid, Gravedigger was always my favorite. Yes, Gravedigger was my favorite. But one thing I didn't do, even as a kid, one thing I never did was... Want Gravedigger to win, even when he got a low score freestyle. That's right. I remember a show I went to. This was back in 2006. I believe I was... Nine? No, eight. I, w I was eight years old at the time. 
Good heavens, this was 11 years ago. Wow. Anyway, so this was a show I was at back when I was 8 years old. And, you know, trick like El Matador, King Crunch would go out. And they'd do a freestyle, and they'd get like, you know, an 8, a 7, and an 8. Oh yeah, in case I forgot to mention, they used band judges at the show. They picked random bands and had them judge the freestyles. <coughs> So they come out, <coughs> and they get shows like, or I mean scores, like 20, 22. And then Gravedigger goes out, gives the same quality freestyle, not much different, and gets 10, 10, and 10. Because he's Gravedigger. Now, it's not just Gravedigger, it's the other trucks like Maxim Destruction, El Toro Loco. We get tired of the fell trucks. Now, I'm, I, again, I'm not hating on these trucks, but you get so tired of them when Feld wants to promote all their fell trucks to oblivion while practically shutting out the independents. It's like a business monopoly at this point. It's like they're building up so many of their own trucks. It's dominant over the independents. Now, this is not just a problem for us, the consumers. No, 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 it's not. What will happen is the independents will start losing interest. And you know what happens when they lose interest? They go to other leagues. Like Monster Truck Throwdown. And some of these other leagues you see on the Monster Blog. It's become clear at this point. All Phil cares about is money. That's it. And that's why you see so often <coughs> them trying to build up their empire a felt owned property as like a business monopoly. And all it's doing is making the sport worse. That's all it's doing. Look, Gravedigger is awesome. He is. But, I am not going to root for Gravedigger. Because Gravedigger always wins the events most of the time because the driver doesn't deserve it. No, I'm not going to do that. And it's not just Gravedigger, it's the other drivers as well. See, none of these trucks are that interesting. Isn't that sad? None of the filled trucks are that interesting anymore. And things like this are exactly why. Feld promotes all of their filled stuff above everyone else. I, I recently found out from Team Raisin Cane Monster Trucks. Did you know? You're not even going to believe this when I tell you. Someone asked why there wasn't any, you know, merchandise at, at Monster Jam tours or shows for the independents. And you know what Raisin, uh, Team Raisin Cane Monster Trucks replied to this person with on their Instagram? Get this. Independents are not allowed to sell merchandise at Monster Jam events. That's right! I can't... I can't even comprehend that. THAT IS MANIACAL! Feld Entertainment? You guys are a bunch of money-grabbing, cash-grabbing, get-rich-quick scheme 
I don't even know what to call you guys at this point. You guys are a bunch of thieves! All you care about is your own property and how much money your property makes. That's all you care about! So you know what that means? Since there's no non-felled merchandise at Monster Jam Shows, you know what that means? It means if you go to a Monster Jam show and look for Avenger merchandise, because remember, Avenger is not owned by Feld, it's owned by Team Scream Racing. Tough luck! You're not gonna find any, because they can't sell merchandise at Feld Motorsport shows. So Phil is glorifying themselves up to a point where it's all about them. And that's why Phil is, Phil is getting less and less and less interesting over time. Okay, look at this, for example. Take a look at this. We're gonna count all the non-failed trucks in this lineup. Avenger, not failed. Blacksmith is failed. Blackstone is not failed. Failed, failed, not failed. Failed, failed, not failed. Failed, not failed. I think Rage and Steel is failed. I'm not totally sure. Uh, failed, failed. Not felled and not felled. So you have seven trucks in a 16 truck lineup, although this does include Rage and Steel, but that's a felled truck, anyways. You have seven non felled trucks in a 16 truck lineup. Now let's compare that to World Finals 18. Okay, so we have Feld, Feld. <coughs> We're gonna count the non Feld trucks here. Here we go. Fel uh, not Feld, Feld, not Feld, not Feld, Feld, Feld. Feld, 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 feld. Hmm. Guess who? Oh, that's right. Feld, 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 feld. Uh, not feld. Feld, feld, not feld. Feld, 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 and feld. <coughs> So how many so how many non-filled trucks do you have in a 32 truck lineup? That's right, this is 32 trucks. It's not 16 trucks like World Finals 2 was. 32 trucks, twice as many trucks. You know how many non-filled trucks there were? Six. That's right. So the 16 truck lineup of 2001 had more trucks, more non-filled trucks than 2017, which had twice as many trucks. If that's not Feld building themselves up in the spotlight, I don't know what is. At this point in time, I'm just probably not even gonna get Feld my money anymore. I went to Monster Jam this year and last year, but I would not go again 
if Phil doesn't make some changes. This is awful. This needs fixing. Feld, stop glorifying yourself. You are only going to dig yourself deeper and deeper into a hole. So please, stop putting up your Feld placard on the wall. And stop bowing down and worshipping yourselves. And put not only the fans and the independents, but <coughs> ultimately yourselves to a higher standard. This is Clear Sky Productions. Thank you as always for watching and uh, tune in next time for another awesome video from Clear Sky Productions. But until then, folks, this is Clear Sky Productions signing off. Have a good day, folks.